A Colorado jury decided on Friday that James Holmes, the man who killed 12 people and injured 70 others in a 2012 mass shooting at a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado, should not receive the death penalty. Instead, Mr. Holmes was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. The jury of nine women and three men deliberated for less than seven hours over two days about Mr. Holmes' final fate, but could not agree on sentencing. A death sentence would have required unanimity under Colorado law. I still think death is justice for what that guy did, but the system said otherwise, and I honor that, and I'll respect that outcome. The former graduate student was already convicted of more than 160 counts of murder and attempted murder by the same jury last month. The decision came after more than three months of often emotional testimony by survivors and family members of the victims. Defense lawyers argued that Mr. Holmes was legally insane when he committed the crimes, but the jury ultimately declined to find him not guilty by reason of insanity. Friday's sentence came as a surprise to many of those who lost loved ones in the shooting. You know, I read the jury questionnaires and they go into great depth and detail about the possibility of death and how they could handle that. And when you look at every stage of uh, the verdicts, it doesn't support backing out at this stage at the very final verdict. It doesn't make sense and I don't believe it. 